hello welcome back to the channel i hope everyone are doing great i'm also doing good so in this video we're going to discuss about one of the most interesting and most waiting video which is nothing but azure data engineer roadmap so first we'll see data engineer roadmap then i'll show you how we can become a azure data engineer so without delay let's get started so the very first thing that a data engineer or any IT professional should have is CS fundamental, computer science fundamentals. That is nothing but how a computer works, how internet works, how is the kit works. The very, very basic thing. And data engineer should know about how to use the terminal. Nothing like command line tool. And also understand the data structures and algorithms, like how a data can store into the system and how we can retrieve the data. What is the searching? What is the sorting? What is the indexing? Such mechanisms you should understand. Next, we need to understand the structures about the data, which is structured data, unstructured data, semi-structured data and all. So we should have some basics about the Linux as well, and also write some cell script, which can help you to automate your jobs. Next, most important and mandatory skill, which is nothing but a programming language. We should be good in any of the programming language, Python, Java, Scala, Go, or any other programming language. And my personal choice was like good in Python. So because most of the data libraries are depends on the Python are available in the Python. So something like a data science libraries like Pandas, NumPy, Skillton, all those things, right? So, and also it is very easy to learn. And the skill set is you should have a easy to medium level you don't need to struggle much to learn too much on it but easy to medium level if you have a knowledge then that is more than enough next we need to understand the most important thing which is nothing but sql the expectation level is too strong in it because as a data engineer you should be too strong in the sql we should understand the normalization asset concept is and database fundamentals all the concepts along with some modernization concept which is nothing but cap theorem vltp vlap horizontal scaling dimensional modeling and all other things if possible you just take and explore and be pro in one one of the relational databases either it may be mysql postgres or maybe sql server so it should be good enough like how to write a query how to tune a query how to write the data into the table and all other from beginner to pro level and also no sql databases not all data engineers uh, profile are required for no sql databases but still you should know what is what are all the no sql databases are available at least on very very high level next you should have idea about the data warehouses so we should know there are different wide varieties of data warehouses are available like even the snowflake is also one of, part of one of the data warehouses tool but don't try to focus on the snowflake at once on the beginning step instead try to focus on the apache hive and apache impala or maybe amazon redshift or maybe synapse analytics so this is the simple way where you can start as a data warehouses especially for the data azure data engineering you can focus on synapse analytics or databricks delta lake either of one is more sufficient and we should understand the data lake or object storage so in this case in azure it will be azure blob storage also we need to understand the cluster computing fundamentals which is nothing but distributed storage and distributed processing so on the distribution storage side we have a apache hadoop hdfs map reduce and different types of architectures and different types of processing engines so next we need to understand the data processing engines so mostly in the data processing we have a two types of processings are there one is like a python pandas and another one is pyspark so pyspark is for distributed computing fashion so pyspark is the most advanced and latest and it is needed for a data engineer the mandatory skill is pyspark so for batch processing or even for hybrid or even for the streaming i recommend go with the spark and if you are too interested to learn about the data processing especially on the streaming side better you can focus on apache kafka and apache flink next most important thing is scheduling so how we can schedule your end-to-end -end workflows with the help of apache airflow you need not to be pro in it but you should know how to use the airflow how to create a DAG, and how to play with the DAG, how to schedule it and all those things so remaining we have monitoring the data pipeline tools which is nothing but your prometheus datadoc and splunk logs and etc all those things so these are not uh, mandatory skills but these are all add-ons to work as a data engineer the next was one of the most important skill that is expected from each and every data engineer which is nothing but cacd that is continuous integration continuous delivery so where you need to understand what is about the github actions and the jenkins so this this can help you to upgrade your code from one environment to other environment and to store your code in git locations with the help of some versions 
and next you need to understand about the security so for the security you need to understand how your data gets stored and what are the data security and privacy protocols and mechanisms that will be used along with azure active directory iam security and all other stuff right so now we can see some of the courses where you can learn and become azure data engineer next we can see some of the courses where I have filtered so many courses and finally I was filtered only very few courses where you can enroll and you can learn and become an Azure data engineer. And these courses will deliver all the topics. What are all the topics that we have discussed till now? So before jumping into that, so I have a small reminder, you guys, I'm really keeping a lot of effort to bring this quality content to you. So if you like the video, please give a like and add a comment that can actually help me to give boost up to make such more content thank you i have taken many courses and i have filtered all the courses based on the different uh, criteria where i have taken the experience and uh, the content that they are covering and the rating that they have received and also the topics and each and every topic and also the teaching style so by considering all those things i have able to filter four to five complete courses where you can enroll and become azure data engineer so the very first course is Azure Data Engineering end to end course and that is in English and the same author also provide the course in Hindi as well. Like if you know the Hindi, you can enroll that and you can also watch it in Hindi so that you can feel more comfortable and you can learn more subject. And if you can see the what are all the topics that he is delivering, right? So introduction, SQL, SQL scenario based questions, data warehouses and Azure basics and data factory and uh, Databricks and Python and Databricks and the PySpark, Delta Lake, Databricks and also Structured Streaming, Synapse Analytics, DevOps and some end-to-end -end project and also the Fabric, the most advanced one and some interview preparation as well. So I can encourage to enroll this and you can learn and become an Azure Data Engineer. The next one you see, this one, Master Data Engineering using Azure Data Analytics. So this author is one of the oldest uh, author where it has a vast knowledge in the data engineering and uh, data spaces where i was also learned from him uh, in initial of my career that is uh, more than like 10 11 years ago and uh, this course is something like a bit old one but still uh, there is a lot of content was there and you can learn okay so i really like the way that he uh, teaching style so that's how i can recommend this go to this and you can also learn and next i can recommend another author that which is nothing but Prashant Pandey, sir. So this author also gives very much valuable and uh, most important topics and he covered uh, his syllabus mostly in the different aspects. So if you can see this complete program, so he would have covered all the courses, all the tools in the Azure Data Engineering to become an Azure Data Engineer. Along with that, he offered most of the courses on the performance tuning, Gen A and the performance, especially the most successful uh, uh, version and you can see his videos even in the youtube as well uh, so that you can get to know what is the style of that he is teaching and all so that was re really cool and uh, really interesting and he brings out a lot of internal tools and internal uh, working mechanisms so that's how i can highly recommend to take this course but only the one con of these uh, courses are like course fees are a bit on higher side but if you are a one who can learn the data engineering in a in a with a passion I'll definitely recommend when you can go it. Okay. So the next one, I can show you one of the courses where uh, this course is also one of the good one. And he also offered the complete end-to-end -end data engineering, Azure data engineering tools, where he covered the SQL data factory, Databricks fabric, Power BI, and data engineering um, Python, right? So on CACD, data engineering preparations and all, uh, everything that he covered very well, but only the con that I'm seeing here is he is just having five plus years of experience. Uh, that is up to you whether you can take it or not. But if I can uh, search it, right? So this is also one of the best uh, course that I can, uh, I'm seeing it in the Udemy. So these are the four courses that I can recommend to enroll and to become a data engineer. Once you've done all these courses, this is not enough you have to still do some real-time projects then only you'll understand more and you'll understand when to use what and you can able to crack your interviews too so to understand which projects that you have to use i have selected few projects where you can enroll that and you can do that complete end-to-end -end projects 
So out of which the very first one that I can see Azure Databricks and data engineering with the real time projects where he has explained clear concept with one by one with the examples and the nodes and uh, the scripts as well. So this is really cool one and you will understand a lot more about the Databricks. Next, you can see about this course, Azure Databricks and Spark for Data Engineering. So this is also a very uh, good one and he has a vast knowledge and he explained each and every concept very clearly and when to use, when to not to use and all other aspects. If you can see his course content, he also covered most of the services related to Databricks and he gone in depth and explained each and every concept. So why I recommend most on the Databricks because most of the, your projects and your questions more related to the Databricks and the Spark itself, especially in the Azure. So that is the most hard uh, skill. So you should learn on it. So next you can see the building a modern data warehouses. So he's also one of the uh, good author where I can see that he has explained a project in a step-by-step -step, um, uh, order. You see bronze layer, silver layer, gold layer, and EDA and advanced analytics project. So if you can go through this complete course, you will understand the complete project about it data engineer so he'll become a data engineer and he also explained the concepts very easily and uh, very easily and very uh, passion so you can also see his youtube videos as well so he's a quite great author can say and next you can see about the spark streaming side if you are interested and to learn on the streaming side most only so again i'm selecting this course uh, because where uh, he covered end to end all the topics like how to set up how to work and how to uh, what are all the points that you need to uh, cover and all those things right so these are all the different projects where if you can do all these projects then you will become a pro and a interview ready for the uh, data engineer role so i hope you like the content and uh, you really feel the value add in it so if you like the video please give a like and add a comment and share your feedback if you have anything thank you